Hello everybody, um, as you can already see, this is going to be a different type of video. I, uh, enjoy making things with the Lego, so I thought I'd use this Lego digital designer. What the fuck are you doing over there? Like, the, the how? Be gone with thee. Oh, hello. You're not what I wanted. I'm going to try and occasionally make some videos about my creations on the off chance I make one I enjoy. I have done so this time and therefore I will be make I will be making one. There we go. That was bugging me. So I just call this one wolf so far. I don't know if I should call it fang or wolf fang fist, whatever, I don't know. That was an old reference. Oh my god. I'm becoming old. <laughs> anyway, yes, this is a wolf. Pad in its head. I kind of suck at this. Anyway, um, it's, this is a program called Lego Digital Designer. I, it's the only way I have to actually make these things as of yet, because God knows I don't have the cash to try and get it no, um, in real life. Anyway, um... You adjust your mouth. Yes, um, as I just showed, it's head moves. Let me zoom in in here. Um... There we go. Both... <laughs> both sides of its head moves. That's not creepy at all. It has a yellow eye. Keep that in mind, as it will actually come into play later. Damn you. There we go. Okay. Yes, it, it has a mouth. It... <laughs> okay, that looks kind of funny. I don't know why, but... Anyway, it has a mouth. It has posable feedums. We shut up phone posable feedums. It has posable elbow legums. Posable thingums. Well that's totally not giving away what I'm going to say next, but um it has posable it has posable armaments armaments. Opposable legs and knees, and same thing as you know on the front because it's basically mirrored. Um, movable tail. That is not how you move a tail. That that is just not how that works. Oh God! What did you give the wolf? Um. Yes, it has three segments. Well, yeah. Technically four, but this is more for transformation and doesn't do too much. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. There you go. Over here we have... It's a robot form. Uh, well, already then. Um, basically, each of my transformers and everything, well, each of my creations will have some form of transformation, just because I enjoy it. But, you can see how this is, you know, how this all compresses. It's basically, that's all it's for, is for compressing. And it doesn't do it very well. Like, um... Originally, this was supposed to fold downward... But it 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 just does not. It does not. I'll have to fix that. And if I do figure out a way to fix it. Get your face over there by your ass. Okay, that does not sound right. Get your face by your ass. Totally. Um, yeah, just. Oh, I forgot to move these down. There's a lot of things and I just made it. Like, literally five minutes ago I finished making it. But, um. There we go. Move that in just that slight little bit. It 
must be perfect, or as close to as I can fucking get. Anyway, I have a second wolf over here, so I can use this. Actually, no, I'll just show you how to transform it via this thing. Or this one? You know what? I don't fucking know. Let's go. Let's just do this. Um. Okay. So. First thing I do. Is I come back here. Straighten out the legs. I would probably be easier if it was we real Legos. But what the fuck ever. Thank God I'm not trying to do this for money or else I would have just gotten a... Probably would have gotten some kind of strike or something. Well, not really a strike, but whatever. Um. Okay, then we bring this up. Both halves. Hey! You stop it. Go in your home. Thank you. See what happens when we can all cooperate. Um, move this over here. Do the same to this side, but do it the other side since it's going to be weird like that. And... Finish bringing this down. Take this side. Hey, take this, fold it in to make part of, this is going to make his waist, and it also partially hides this, which is its, well, actually, I should probably move this, that would be his waist joint, which I use, I need to get him into that wolfy pose, wolfy, wolfy? Are uh, either of those words? I mean, I, d I don't know if those are words. I think they are. If they aren't, well, tough luck. They are now. I have made far weirder in the words. But that is a topic for another day in time. Uh, there we go. Just in time for my rent and treat. I accidentally gave him a butt. Alrighty then. Um, now is about time that I zoom out. And I can use this to, um, use the arrow keys to do the thing. Zoom back in. Now these shoulder pieces, mainly just here for display purposes, can be folded out and moved on in just to uh, I mean I guess you can move this around yeah that kind of looks nice nice enough you can do the same over here I mean you can Th this part is completely optional as it doesn't really hamper anything either way, but, you know, it's it gives his arms something else to do that isn't just looking like it's there to be there. Now he's like, oh god, why? I don't know why he's like, oh god, why, but he is. I hate moving these parts in Lego Digital Designer. Hey! Yo! I'm thing of dudeness. Get your ass over there. Oh, and as you can see, he doesn't get a full elbow articulation thing. But I think it's, you know, it's good enough for me. Um, you might want to, you know, turn this over. Bring that claw in. 
bring this client and bring this client and there you go you have a hand and an entire arm can I I mean I just for the moment being I'm gonna keep everything except maybe his head gray well and of course his claws and you know the highlights just because I don't know what exactly would go well with this color layout or scheme sorry I thought I had had an itch on the side of my head. I don't know why I did, but um, I did. It might have just been a because plot reason. I mean, I don't know what fucking plot I was trying to fulfill, but uh, there we go. And there's another one. Hey, no, this. You. I take you late. And turn his hand. He has no weapons, as you, if you can't already tell that. But it's mainly because I couldn't figure out how to do it without having to take everything apart. And that's just annoying to try and do on Lego Digital Designer. There we go. There we go. See, he has a body now. And a weird abdomen. Well. Um, now we move this down. I know, his head's a very weird, very, very weird color. Co the f How? No. There we go. It's a very weird shade compared to the rest of his head. And now I can... Move this up so I don't forget again. We're coming down the home stretch here if you can't already... No! Stop moving! Stop moving everything. Sorry if I'm sounding a bit monotone, I'm still trying to work that whole thing out. Well, I mean, if I... If I wanted to, I could probably... You know what? Let's try something. Right now. Right here, right now. Move this down. I mean... Okay, well, there you go. If you like it so it's more hidden, there you go. There's the options. You have apparently three options here. Down. And now this. There is a hinge right here. You flip that around. You know this is, would be much easier to figure out and do if it was real life. I'm going to say that a few times, most likely. But. Nothing I can really do about it. I'm just kind of glad I can do this anyway. And hey, look, his his head's already by his ass. Anyway, and that brings us to the final robot mode, which actually looks rather decent to me. Maybe his legs are a bit far apart, but you can't win them all, you know? You, you just can't. I can try to, but you can't. Um, Let's see now. What we, okay, now the rest of this video is basically, well, let me just get rid of this. Let me save it like that. And delete. I said delete. Deleteth youth. 
and the rest of this video is going to be me talking while the building guide is created. I mean, it's not really that much, I don't think. Let's see how many steps this is actually to make. This way, if you want, you can just, you know, make it on your own. I might be able to upload the file somewhere if asked, though odds are no one will give a damn. Anyway, um, sorry I haven't been, oh, only 113, huh? Not bad, actually. Sorry I haven't really been uploading all too much as of late. It's just a matter of, I don't, uh, life has been kind of busy, rather. Oh, look, and you can just substitute things like the three, anytime you see three of a piece, you can probably substitute it for, you know, just a fourth, one normal brick of that size. Anyway, life has been kind of a bit busy as of late, so there hasn't been a lot of time for me to upload along with school and things like that, you yeah. know. Um, let's see, what else is there to, what is there to talk about? Oh, um, I will be continuing my other series. Plants vs. Zombies, I haven't been able to catch back up on due to being not away from home. Not at, sorry, I'm trying to talk, but I keep bimping and stuff. It's extremely rude, I am sorry. Um, I haven't been really home to do stuff like that. Or, in Plants vs. Zombies case especially, I haven't been home to actually catch back up where it was, because then my entire computer had to reset. Oh yeah, originally I was going to use this piece right here to um, allow the head to flip into the wolf chest. Something else I might edit later on, but as of now, that's just how it is. You can see how much room that actually leaves. Um, make sure you, you, you can see what all is going on here. Basically a big brick. Oh, over here now. Hey. Uh, yeah, there you go. Basically this is just gonna be, ang this is angling in. So it kind of looks a bit nicer. Don't go back. Um, let's see. Are there any things that you guys might want to see me play? And, you know, when I can actually seem to continue doing so. Oh, this is how that entire neck assembly is set up. Let me zoom in on here. Okay, I won't zoom in, because it's being a dick. Uh, yeah. Um, just give me a bit of a heads up in the comments or something, and I'll try and see what I can do. I mean, no guarantee, because I don't really have a lot of money to work with or anything. But, I'm more than happy to try. Oh, here's just the head assembly. See, it's just, that's just three little pieces. Well, four, I guess. Do, 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 do. I love how that goes in, just like satisfying. <laughs> um, oh, this is this is how you make the lower jaw and upper. J this is just how you make the head assembly, which I guess is kind of inspired by uh, another Lego YouTuber, IX Rollout IX. He actually made a transformer, a uh, Lego transformer with a similar head design to this. It was entirely by accident. I didn't actually... I wasn't actually thinking about it until after I made it. But, I mean... Imitation is flattery, I guess? At least in, uh... In comedy. I, I don't know if I'm comedic. Am I comedic? Questions for later. Um... This is completely optional. You can just replace it by a white one by one... Like this, a white version of this, but you don't really have to. It's, again, just up for preference and stuff. Um, the yellow here, actually, if you looked, became the faceplate of the um, 
well, not directly became it, like, the piece didn't move or anything, but it was this, it was intentionally designed so that could be the faceplate of the robot mode, so, you know, he's seeing out of it either way. Oh, this is an example of one of the weird choices I made. Um, right about this piece, or right here, right here, or here, or where you want to put that um, rotational stud thing. I think I used another one in this, so I can show it to you later, but yeah. And then you just do that, and there you go. Oh yeah, I did use another one, right? Here, one of these. Sorry, trying to crack my jaw a bit. Probably shouldn't try and do that, but whatever. And there you go. Look, now you have an entire head. Like, that is not a wolf head. I'm sorry, I tried my best. I really did. But that is just not a wolf head. And look, you got an entire front of a wolf done. Oh, this is the front left leg. Yeah, let me um, zoom back in so you can see that. One, two, three. And then put these for the um, claws. I have no clue how stable this would be if you tried to make it, you know, in reality. So don't really... Don't quote my ability to actually do anything. To actually tell you how stable it is. This can be replaced by something of the same color. There we go. That's for the um, wrist rotation. There we go. This is going to be great because I can use this kind of stuff to um, get better at commuter talking. And yes, that is what this is called now. Commuter talking. I had two of these so that the arms then look too, you know, thin or frail. I did the same with the legs. Look, it's one of the butt pieces. <laughs> um, this is actually so it could have a uh, bicep swivel. Sorry. Kind of losing my ability to breathe for a second there. There we go. And that's how the, um, I guess you could call it an arm plate or a shoulder plate connects. That's the only way I could get it that I could rotate. If you're curious why it's on that one. But it worked out because it kind of balanced out the... Kind of balanced out the angling. Hey, look. We have almost an entire upper half. And now you can just repeat that entire step, but mirror. I'm just going to skip through this a bit because I have no real reason to show it to you twice. And I don't know if I can reliably create that much commentary to show it to you, t you know, the second time. Oh, wait, wait. What, what happened? Look, that looks so imposing. The beginning of the butt? Oh, no, the beginning of the leg. Ah, yes. There is one of these over here, too. In case, you know, you want to flip over the the, the um, leg to be facing the reverse. You know, just in case. Because options are good. The feet are made the exact same way as the um, arms. I mean, as the hands. So, just gonna skip that a bit. Oh, here we go. Here's something new. I put these on here just to give it a bit of knee, you know, shape and can not so flat. I might have to try and do that some more afterwards. The floating ghost piece. One, two. Two of them. One of them. One, two. And these are the pieces that I use to get the um, uh, ab crunch, which he does actually have an ab crunch, which I found rather nice. One, two, and then one of those that doesn't connect to anything underneath it. 
There we go. Oh, these are uh, pieces you might have. I don't know if you ha will have trouble finding these pieces or not, but in real life, I have some trouble. It's angular. It's these angular pieces over here. Hey, that's not what I wanted. Um. There we go. That's that's partially why it's so damn wide in his lower butt region. Um, one of these is how I got the legs to stay stabilized. Really, you only need one of these that has two, that's too long instead of three long. But, man, we up to you just for the added stability. Got to stop doing that. Sorry about that. And the legs are slowly coming to pieces. And there's the butt. And mirror the top with the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, and oh, we're just now finishing this leg. Okay. Uh, this is really set up weirdly. <laughs> oh, here's how you make the tail. Just two of these hinges. One of these flat ones. Or two of these flat ones. The cover, all these cover pieces are not needed if you don't have them or don't want to use them. Just make it look nice and neat. And do that. Basically reverse what you did on the first one. And there you go. Doot, doot, doot. And a doot. There we go. All finished with our wolf hybrid monster what the hell thing. I'm a gonna. You know what? Yeah, there we go. Put in Lego creations. And now I have to say that's about all I can try and figure out to squeeze into this. So just no updates and stuff and videos and all that are coming. They are indeed going to be coming. I'm not stopping YouTube or anything like that if anyone actually can. It's just a matter of it'll take a bit, okay? So, this has been Isolated and Subject saying, have a good night, have a good day, but whatever you do, have a great time. Good night, everybody. The fuck is the button?